What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Camps Outdoors. Today, we're just going to be doing a little bit of the Craftsman diesel slash kerosene heater. Picked this up at Lowe's to heat up my garage here. I'm doing a little project. Working on 12 foot sneak box. Gets a little cold in here. Little heater I had. Isn't quite cutting it. Picked this thing up at Lowe's, like I said. Just unboxed it. Not that heavy, surprisingly. I thought it was going to be a little more heavier than what it was. Wasn't that bad. Comes with two screws on top for the handle. So we're going to go ahead and put the handle on. All right, so now we got the handle put on. That was nice and simple. It was just two screws, Phillips head screws. I don't know if you can see down in there, but... Two Phillips head screws, nice and simple. All right, so here we are, we're about to fire this thing up. Now it just has a simple on off switch. And you can fill it up, as I said, with diesel or kerosene right here. Fuel gauge, uh, I didn't put too much in it. It's got a five gallon. This thing will hold nine gallons, believe it or not. It doesn't look like it, but it will hold nine gallons of either kerosene or diesel so once you get it fired up you got a thermostat right here you can set it to the temperature you like so we'll go ahead and get it plugged in you do need an extension cord of some sort i'm just using a regular old outdoor extension cord so we'll get it plugged in and fire it up now that we have our extension cord plugged in we'll go ahead and click it to on now it's saying that my thermostat is set to 30, or 23, I'm sorry. Uh, that's what I have this set as, 23 degrees, but it's 50 degrees outside, or at this location. I have the garage door open. So you see, as we turn it up, it should kick on. Good. shuts off as soon as it hits that temperature overall I do think this heater is very good does the job perfect for my garage as I'm doing this project in here also if I ever lose power I have some heat that I can heat up the house real quick if I absolutely need to as a last resort in one of the real cold months until I get my pellet stove running back again on a generator. So like I said, overall, not bad at all. This this heater does do, do up to 2,000 square feet. Has about 10 hours of run time overall. And that's running on diesel or kerosene. I chose diesel just because we don't have kerosene around here really 
closest one is probably a good 20, 25 minutes away. I have a little mini gas station around the corner that sells off-road diesel. That's two minutes from my house, so. That's why I chose to go with uh, diesel instead. And it does come with a one year limited warranty. So, overall, like I said, highly recommend it. If you like this kind of content, remember to give it a like. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Until next time.